Bye. The shoulders up and down, up and press. Let's bring the head front and up. Yes, I will exercise. Reach out and down. Let's start using the leg. Let's start with the other arm down and down. Up. Back. Back. Put the toe and overhead. A little fast. Up. Up. Lower. Up, up. When I say up, you punch up. Front. Oh, I want to do more. Get us for the workout. Have the weights in hand. We're going to work the back. Now, these are five pound weights. I suggested to Heidi that we use three, but no. Heidi said we had to use five. Okay, so we're going to start with the weights close to the body. You keep me on task, Heidi. That's your job, huh? That's my job. And up. Keep the knees slightly relaxed. And again, keep the weights close to the body and right under the chin. And lift the elbows with the shoulders down. Working the back. Up. Now we're going to change by squeezing to the back. Back and in and down. As you squeeze back, be sure to lift the elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. When you're using uh, heavier weights and you can't go the full range of motion, then you need to go lighter because that's an important part of the exercise is expanding and contracting the muscle. Skulls. Squeeze. Now we're going to bring the arms back and front. So you're actually squeezing the elbows together as if they're going to touch, but of course, Unless she's got some kind of alien, I don't think they're going to touch. And then I always get a letter from someone who says, yes, my elbows touch in the back. Back and front. Relax the fingers. In and front. Let's have the palms facing the floor. Let's back. Heidi, why do I listen to you? Why I'm do sorry. I listen to you? <laughs> no, it's good to challenge yourself always. You can always go lighter. That's my mantra. But you'll pay for that. Keep the movement a little more, um, the elbows closer to each other still. As you reach forward, you're about, your wrist is about waist high. Squeeze. The chest lifted, the knees slightly bent. 